run in association with the Frank Warren Love TV and sponsored by Queensbury Boxing is proud to present 10 three minute rounds for a final eliminator for the British Heavyweight Championship. Your judges are Richie Davis of All Hallows Kent, Ian John Lewis of Gillingham and Dave Paris of Leeds. Firstly, in the red corner, wearing the black and white shorts, Wayne Ian, 20 stone. He enters the ring with a record of nine wins from 13 contests, with six by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Sheffield, Carl Baker. And across the ring, and across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing the Union Jack shorts, weighing in at 17 stone, 5 pounds, 4 ounces. He brings with him an unbeaten 11 fight record with 6 knockouts. Please welcome, from Finchley, London, the undefeated Derek Delboy Chisora. Your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Howard Foster of Doncaster, who will now give his final instructions to both boxers. for the final eliminator for the British Heavyweight Championship. We're about to get underway here at Wembley Arena. Second down, first Eliminator round. for the British Heavyweight title and it's Derek Chisora against Carl the Fridge Baker. I'm delighted to say I'm joined ringside by Don Broadhurst. We'll be hearing from him a little bit later. But first of all, you're going to hear the voice of Colin Hart, who's sat to my left. Good evening, Colin. Yeah, good evening, Ian. It's, back, it's great to be back at Wembley, isn't it? It is. Cracking venue, this, and a few tickets sold as well. The first big show of the year for Frank Warren, and it's two big men who are fighting on it. Derek Chisora and Carl Baker. Chisora should have been fighting for the full British title this evening against Danny Williams. Williams, though, withdrew a couple of weeks ago. In step Baker, who actually holds a win over Danny Williams in the prize fighter tournament. Baker had him down twice in the first round and survived a, a late Williams rally. Doesn't look in the greatest of shape, Baker, but he's got some boxing ability. A nine and four record, which is all right. Unbeaten. I think that's why they call him the fridge, and then after Perry, the old American footballer who used to weigh 20 odd stone. See him there, Colin, he's, he's got good hand speed, hasn't he, for a, a big guy? Yeah, but wait till uh, he gets to uh, into the later rounds and we'll see uh, his problem. This one, of course, over 10 rounds and we've got three scoring judges this evening. Got a bit tasty at the, the weigh-in by all accounts yesterday. Chisora planted a kiss on the lips of Baker and they squared up for the cameras. Well, there's no accounting for taste, is there? <laughs> well, it is Valentine's Day, Colin. <laughs> And they, I feel they, sorry for Chisora, though. I mean, as you say, he's supposed to have fought for the British title tonight. Before that, he was supposed to have fought Max Skelton. Uh, so, you know, he's had two changes of opponent, and that must do something to your motivation. Well, two different, or three different opponents to prepare for as well, Colin. Yeah, exactly. Skelton, of course, the uh, grand old man of uh, the heavyweight scene. Williams, you just never know what you're going to get. And then a, a different style completely for, for Baker. It's a fairly cautious opening round from both boxers. We've got well, around 45 seconds left of this, the first. Hard to have either man ahead. Who have you got it, Colin? Well, as you say, not much has happened, has it? Um, very few punches thrown, or should I say very few punches have landed on the target area. Chisora threw a wild left hook, missed by a mile. It's difficult to miss Baker by a mile. This is Chisora's first uh, sort of championship fight. First time it, he's been down to fight 10 rounds. He's been built up steadily. His last four fights have been over eight rounds. He has gone eight a couple of times as well. So stamina shouldn't be an issue for him too much. Frank Warren hoping for, for big things from Derek Chisora. 
as the bell goes for the end of the first. We'll bring in Don Broadhurst. Good evening, Don. Good evening. How, uh, how did you score that one? Um, it's quite an even round. I'd probably give it to Derek because he, uh, he was the, the aggressor. He had central ring. He's uh, pushing Baker back and uh, he probably uh, threw the most telling punch of right hand towards the end of the round, I think. Yeah, you probably give it to him on the on being the more aggressive of the, t of the two, but it wasn't a very impressive first round from somebody who quite honestly <laughs> believes he's the best heavyweight in the country. Well, he's got uh, he's got a few guys to beat first, David Hay and Danny yeah. Williams and, and Matt Skelton and those kind of guys. Sexton, and Sexton as well. He's already yeah. has already beaten Sexton, hasn't he? Holds a yes in the. Um, that competition, what do they call it? No, that was a, it. Was just a corners, straight forward six round. Was it? Was it? Oh, sorry, no, it was a your a, call, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't in prize fight. I thought it was a prize fight. I think. Some Seven time ago. <laughs> round two. I think Sexton's come on a lot since then. Yeah, it didn't harm Sexton at all, did it? It's almost billed as a, a crossroads fight for for both young boxers. Then Sexton's really benefited from it. a good left hand there from Chisora. Decent punch of the second round. It landed flush on the chin, but it didn't seem to hurt Baker too much, although it was a scoring punch. I don't, he's not a huge puncher, is he, Chisora? No. And uh, heavyweights who can't punch. Oh, short lifespan. Hmm. Don, did, did your pals uh, cross in, in your amateur days? Obviously not. You, you never, you never fought, Derek. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to vote. Yeah, um, when I won the IBAs in 2003, uh, Cole Baker was in that tournament. I think he got to about the quarters of the semis. And now Chisora's got no. Baker backed up, and there's a an oof from the crowd. A good right hand there, found the target. Chisora sends a bit of blood here. Right hand to the body. Baker's in trouble. Slowly unraveling here, Colin. Yeah, at least Chisora is going to work with both hands now. He looks on very unsteady legs here, Baker. Chisora senses that he could get him out of here. Mouth hanging open. Chisora, as Baker moves backward, Chisora catches him with the left hand. He's flailing away. Chisora. Baker looks as if he's had 10 pints. More body shots here from Chisora. We fancy another headshot here. May give Chisora the fight. Referee Howard Foster jumps in. And only to separate the two boxes as Baker. He looks very tired. He's moving backwards again. More body shots from Chisora. Good tactic this from Chisora going to the body, Colin. Well, it is the head shots, of course, that have uh, Baker rocking all over the place. One beautiful right hand right on the chin started it all. And uh, Baker doesn't look as if he's too too interested and uh, referee Foster says enough that's it and although Chisora did what he had to do it doesn't exactly do him much good fighting somebody of Baker's class um, but it's through no fault of his own he's only got to do what's put in front of him and uh, you know we were saying or I was saying can't punch very hard and within seconds he got Baker rocking all over the place with a right on the chin so Baker wouldn't agree with me well, Baker protested furiously to the referee when Mr Foster intervened, but he could have too much complaint with the stoppage. Chisora was all over him and had been for a good minute and a half. It looks good on television to see him protesting, but he was well beaten. Baker's still moaning in the corner, moaning to the doctor now, shrugging away. We're just about to go to MC Mark Burdis for official confirmation of the result. I'll just watch a brief replay before we do get that result. Just a culmination of, of punches from Chisora. Slowed Baker down with the body shots as well. And there Foster decided he'd seen enough. Well, it was so one-sided, wasn't it, in the end? Yeah, it was, and um, Baker suddenly looked very lucid after the referee had saved him, but it, <laughs> yeah, to be fair to him, he'd been um, all over the place. As they say, me think he protests too much. Yeah. 
No, he got hurt, and once he got Ladies hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, 13 seconds of round two, your referee, Howard Bosler, has stopped the contest. He deemed that Carl Baker was in no position to continue the winner in this eliminator for the British Heavyweight Championship in the blue corner from Finchley, Derek Delboy Chisora.